It's generally said that you should avoid scenes where your characters are just sitting around and talking. This is typically because these kind of scenes have a tendency to just drift along and end up becoming extraneous to the movie. But of course, there are always exceptions to every rule. This deleted scene is from the 2015 film The Martian, starring Matt Damon and directed by Ridley Scott. All right, what's the problem with your bunk room? Well, my climate control isn't keeping up. I just got rid of the cooling tubes, but I can't get to them because they're built into the hole. Where have you been sleeping? Airlock, airlock two. What? It's the only place that I can go without anybody tripping me, so that's why I sleep. No, it's not. Do you not understand like how crazy that is? If one seal breaks, you die. From now on, you sleep in Beck's room. R where am I going to sleep? With Johansson. That, that's, uh, I mean... <laughs> Cut it out, Beck. It's a small ship. I know everything. Are you mad? If this were a normal mission, you would have broken about 30 rules. And a couple of world records. What's up? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Give me five. But this isn't exactly a normal mission. <laughs> you gonna leave me hanging? You gonna leave me hanging? Getting down in space? <laughs> it's a quick scene, just about a minute long, with absolutely no bearing on the outcome of the movie and no real tension between the characters. But it is a great example of how to showcase characterization and relationships within a story. And it's all show, rather than tell. This deleted scene single-handedly showcases everything you need to know about these characters and the core relationships among the crew of the Hermes. No, it's not Do you not understand how crazy that is? If one seal breaks, you die. Vogel is serious but chill. He's the one quietly sitting in his little corner, and he only speaks one line of dialogue in the scene. He says it with conversational concern, in almost a joking tone. Martinez is obviously the Joker. It's his decisions and actions that set up the scene, and he keeps everything light and jovial, even when things should be just a little bit more serious. He's the catalyst, but the scene isn't even about him. The main crux of the scene is to solidify Beck and Johansson's relationship. Their relationship is only hinted at in the final cut of the film, except for the blink and you'll miss a moment during the final montage. They're not the focus of the film, so these two characters feel a bit overlooked in comparison with some of the other crewmates. So overlooked that I didn't even realize they had a relationship until my second viewing, or even notice that it was them with the newborn until my third viewing. However, this scene clarifies everything about the two of them within a single minute. And finally, there's Commander Lewis. She's clearly well and truly in charge of everything on the ship. Cut it out, Beck. It's a small ship. I know everything. Yet she's comfortable enough with her crew to be casual with them and not a stereotypical hard ass. The commander is not only close with her crew, but genuine in her relationship with them this whole scene proves why this group of astronauts make a great team. They may joke around throughout the movie, but this scene exists to let you know just how well-rounded of a family they actually are, and it does so even without the main character present. It adds context as to why the crew unanimously chose to mutiny against NASA and risk their lives to save one of their own. Ultimately, the scene got cut most likely because it's not totally relevant to the already long story, but it's still a great character building scene nonetheless. And this scene does a fantastic job to further solidify their character traits and bonds with one another, proving that sometimes even great scenes end up on the cutting room floor. What's up? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Give me five. Let me know your thoughts on this scene or any other great scenes you love in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a great day, and don't forget to watch a great movie. Bye.